Hi there, good evening. upon us again and daddy is grateful because it was kind of a rough week but it's okay because now it's time for rest i thought tonight we would sing number there it is 329 i'll let you see the words Take the world, but give me Jesus. Take the world, but give me Jesus. All its joys are but a name. But his love abideth ever through eternal years the same. O oh, the height and depth of mercy, O oh, the full length and breadth of love, O oh, the fullness of redemption, pledge of endless life above. Take the world, but give me Jesus, sweetest comfort of my soul. But his love abides with my Savior watching o'er me. I can sing the billows roll. Oh, the height and depth of mercy, Oh, the length and breadth of love, Oh, the fullness of redemption, Pledge of endless life above. Take the world, but give me Jesus, Let me view his constant smile. Then throughout my pilgrim journey, light will cheer me all the while. Oh, the height and depth of mercy, oh, the length and breadth of love, oh, the fullness of redemption, pledge of endless life above. Take the world, but give me Jesus, in his cross my trust shall be, till with clearer, brighter vision, face to face my Lord I see. Oh, the height and depth of mercy, oh, the length and breadth of love, oh, the fullness of redemption, pledge of endless life above. It's a great song. <clears throat> listening to a Glenn Coon sermon while I did the kombucha and made some brownies and did the dishes. And he was talking about just surrendering our will and our desires. And he, then he mentioned some of the words from that song, and so then I just kept thinking about it. <sighs> so, tonight we're going to be reading in John chapter 18. The last time we read, and I don't remember if it was last Sabbath or the Sabbath before, but we read, this fan sure is bothersome, we read about Peter following Jesus. Do you remember who was with him? Somebody that was known to the high priest. It was the disciple John. <clears throat> and when all the other disciples ran away, when the people came and took Jesus, uh, John and Peter followed at a distance. They were kind of far back. They didn't want to be seen. But they followed 
<sighs> and they went in. But when they went in, there was a lady, right? The gatekeeper, maybe? And the servant girl who kept the door said to Peter, You are not also one of this man's disciples, are you? And what did Peter say? I am not. That was very sad. And Peter stood by the fire, it says, and warmed himself. So after that, it says in verse 19, John 18, verse 19, it says, The high priest then asked Jesus about his disciples and his doctrine. Mm -hmm. And Jesus answered him, I spoke openly to the world. I always taught in synagogues and in the temple, where the Jews always meet, and in secret I have said nothing. Why do you ask me? Ask those who have heard me what I said to them. Indeed, they know what I said. That makes sense, doesn't it? He says, why are you asking me what I taught? I taught in public everywhere. Ask all the people that heard me. And when he had said these things, one of the officers who stood by struck Jesus with the palm of his hand, saying, Do you answer the high priest like that? Jesus answered him, If I have spoken evil, bear witness of the evil. But if well, why do you strike me? Then Annas sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. So, they're trying to trick Jesus and catch him saying something wrong. Or trying to tell them, admitting to things that he taught that they could say were wrong. But Jesus didn't do anything wrong. Um... And he was able to get past that by saying, why don't you ask the people who listen to me what I taught? And they'll tell you whether what I said was wrong or not. Jesus had the fullness of wisdom because he was fully surrendered to God. And wisdom comes from God. So if we trust God and we surrender our, our thoughts and our will to him, then he will... Uh, grant us wisdom and understanding <clears throat> in the things that we don't know. I need a lot of help with that because there's lots of things that I don't know. And the problem comes when I think I know them. I think I have it all figured out. I have an understanding of everything. That's when I'm really in trouble. But God is merciful and faithful and he guides us. So, I hope that you guys have a good day today, getting ready for Sabbath. I think Mommy's going to try and pack up the car or something. But, uh, yeah. Why don't we have a prayer, and then I think I'm going to go finish my We'll see. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so much for the blessing of your Sabbath. We thank you for the rest that you give us. We thank you for caring about things such as our rest and the burdens that we carry. You told us that uh, in the song it says that burdens are lifted at Calvary. You desire us to, to give all of our burdens and our challenges to you. Father, please forgive me for trying to carry so much on myself and not uh, just take your offer to... Take your yoke upon me. Father, we pray that you would please be with Mom and Jojo and Asher today as they prepare for not only a Sabbath, but for moving on in their journey. It feels kind of like the Israelites packing up camp and <clears throat> moving on in their exodus and their journey through the wilderness. I pray that you would give them wisdom and give them your spirit, Lord, may they have a good time together. Pray that they would be safe on the roads and that everything could be for your honor and glory. We thank you, Father, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Well, don't remember, don't remember, don't forget to take the world, but give me Jesus. Because that's the most important thing. All right? Love you all.